Stitchers, it's Becky the Obsessed Stitcher back with an update. It's been a couple months since I've recorded a video and I'm getting ready to go to Indiana to the Fancy Works Retreat and I thought I'd uh, get a quick um, stitchy update in before I start packing my stuff up to go. So I'm probably going to stop and start this video because I have stuff all over in my different categories, but I think first I will start with my whips. Um, you may remember I'm doing an advent calendar, or two advent calendars that I'm uh, stitching um, on plastic canvas to make ornaments for. So I will start off with those. I showed you these guys last time and I need something behind me. That's not really going to work. Well, um, so I had almost finished both of these guys. I, I did not have the gingerbread man. So there are um, one, two, three, four and a half of my days for the advent. And then I did do the other gingerbread man and a little stocking and a snowman. And now I'm starting on a Santa Claus. So I'm on to the second Santa Claus. So that's going well. I'm hoping to get them done as soon as I can. And then I, um, I'll have to insert a picture. I didn't grab my pattern, but I've been working on one of my Merrily Beans uh, samplers, and it's the one called Friendship. And I've gotten a little farther since last time. I've got, uh, that'd be Merrily and myself and then a little bit of the plant there. So I've gotten a little bit farther on that. So it's really fun to work on, it's so cute. Actually, uh, my friend Terry had a little get together at her home, a lunch, it was very nice, and Marilee came. So that's the day I worked on this was when she was there. So that was fun to work on one of her projects with her in the room. It's very nice, and Olivia B. and Abby. Top Knot Stitcher was there also, so that was really nice. And since my last update, I have, and I'll have to insert picture too, I thought I was organized. I didn't bring my pattern, but it's my Margeline Baston uh, piece it's called Gathering. Uh, Christine Calico has organized a Instagram stitch along. So this is where I've gotten to on this piece. I'm showing it to upside down. <laughs> He's hanging upside down from the from the uh, birdhouse, but that's where I've gotten to on this piece. Very cute. It's a uh, 22 count, very tiny stitches. I'm doing one over one on this, but it's really pretty, gorgeous little piece. And then. I will also insert a piece or a picture of this. It is uh, one of my heaven and earth designs. It's called It's About Time. I pulled it out and did a little work on it. And um, it's quite gratifying up in the top corner. It's not just, uh, you know, background. We actually have some pattern of the corner so you can see what I've gotten done there. It's one over one on 25, 28, and I'm rolling it, uh, 25 count. It's an even weave. It's very nice fabric. So I worked on that a little bit and that was really nice to get back to one of my um, Heaven and Earth designs. I haven't worked on them in over a year. And then this one, I did bring the picture. This is my E. I'm working on E, J, and Moonflowers. And so I've gotten a long way on my E. <clears throat> Actually, I'll put this behind here. And it's on 28 count Irish linen that I dyed. <clears throat> Olivia B. Uh, gave me this pattern or shared it with me with a lot of the threads so I'm using fancy threads and you can kind of see the beads I, I we actually had another get together at our LNS yesterday uh, today is St. Patrick's Day green 
Um, we had a get together yesterday at our LNS and I showed her this and there's these big beads that I had trouble with um, getting them to sit right and she said every time she goes to the house where she gifted her E, it was a baby sampler, she straightens those beads because you just, they're just, you know, a crisscross of DMC through it just doesn't hold them straight like the little beads, but there's beads all up in here. So I'm very close to being done. I'm really hoping to finish it before I go to the retreat so I can put it on the uh, finished table to show my goods. But um, I, I'll take her either way. She's going to Indiana. So she's been really fun to work on. It's gone pretty fast. So that's where I am on that. And I think that's all of my cross-stitching whips. <coughs> Excuse me. I did have a finish this morning. I My Saturday morning Christmas stitching, I was doing uh, this little steeple sampler. And I did finish it this morning. So I will make that into a little Christmas ornament. So that turned out pretty cute. Teeny tiny stitches. I don't know if that's 36 count. We're it's tiny. Not all that enjoyable. And I did hand dye uh, floss. This is all DMC, but I took uh, the color and uh, dribbled some at the teal, not teal, um, the tan DMC. And so I don't know if you can see on my, uh, my church is modeled and the steeple is too, but it's so dark you can't really see it. But anyway, so just to give it a little interest, that worked out pretty well. But anyway, so that is one of my, that's my finish. I have two other finishes that are not cross stitch. You know, I'd been working on my rug hooking um, chicken and I did finish her, him, her. That was fun. I, I don't know if I'll do this again. But I, I, I enjoyed it, and I, I like the end result, but I don't know. It was okay. In contrast to uh, Needle Punch, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I started and finished since my last video. Uh, I will show you the, here's, it's out of um, Not Forgotten Farms Autumn, at Not Forgotten Farms, it's out of this book. And it's this piece. So she's got it on a bag. I have no idea how I will finish it, but this is my finish. And it's done just in DMC. And I really enjoyed it. It's fast. And I am um, actually, and I'll put the link here because I am cannot remember uh, the name of the channel, but there's a stitching channel on YouTube that uh, this gal has shown a uh, needle punch from start to kind of some lessons and they were really good and I got some great tips from her so I will put um, her name and a title here and put a link to her channel she's back east somewhere she has a uh, Etsy store too it's really cute but she watching her videos was, and I watched them when I was midway through this but they were very uh, helpful, so I really enjoyed that. So I'll definitely be doing more needle punch. Actually, um, I'll show you part of my thrift store haul. I'm sure I've told you about. <coughs> excuse me, have a cold or the end of a cold, irritating. Um, the thrift store that is a craft store, and uh, there's a couple Fridays a month things are half off, so I try to make it over there on my lunch hour, and I got these. Um, it was half price of that, so for 75 cents, I got three different sized um, needle punch, and in watching uh, the person's video, she, she didn't have this one, but uh, she talked about the measurement of where, how far this is. She measures hers, and um, you know, it really kind of clued me into uh, you know dealing with these and 
how where you want to put it if you don't have like on the cameo it's got the numbers and you can just set it at whatever number but this one doesn't so i got these and then i also got i know it's acrylic and it looks different than the dmc but i got um two bags of this acrylic needle punch yard it's probably you know it's <laughs> been around a while again it was all 50 percent off so I got a, a good deal for a variety of colors, and I don't know if you can dye this stuff. I'll have to try dyeing it, but um, all different colors. So I have two bags. So this this bag, too, is full of it, along with some Needlepoint Necessity, again, at 50% off. A variety, not a lot, but blue, green, and some white of Needlepoint Necessities thread, a few of those. But um, many, many spools of uh, acrylic. So like I said, I'll have to test and see. You probably can't dye acrylic, but I'll give it a try. <coughs> anyway, so that is it for my stitching, my FFOs. Another um, project, excuse me, I'm going to move you, that I've been working on is... Um, I was gifted with um, some uh, little kits, and I've got dog hair on this, from Melanie Smith from Yar um, Yarns and Fiber Thread Mill. I'll link her below. But uh, I started this embroidery on this, and it came. The pattern was on here, so I just have to follow it. You can see. And it came all sewn together, and then you could just make it into a pillow. So it was a great little kit. She was so kind to send those along. She sent me a couple of them. Um, so I'm enjoying that, uh, doing the embroidery. I'm tempted to do it again, but it's not perfect. But I think I may just have it to look back on when I get better. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that. I'm going to pause you and pick up the rest that she gifted me with and then um, start with my haul. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, this is the rest of the package that Melanie gave me. She also sent along an Idaho spud that is still in my freezer, Melanie. I'm waiting till I'm over this cold to really enjoy that. It's gonna be delicious. So the kits come, here's an, another one, it's a little kitty, and look at the cute fabric, so I will embroider that, and then it comes with backing fabric and um, some batting to make the little pillow out of, so really cute, and then directions, so you can't get these anymore, um, so she was kind enough to share with me the ones she had left in her stash. Here's the backing for the other pumpkin one. And then she um, sent these along too for my wool applique and maybe punch needle. Um, so here's some others. So this is buttermilk basin which um, has some cute stuff. So there's stitching one and here's wool applique. Okay. Here's another wool applique. Again, these are so cute. There's a bird brain design. So they're done on little towels, but you know, maybe punch needle. I did also get myself a light box at a thrift store that was a bargain. Uh, so I've got the tools to trace by, so there's another one, so sorry for the glare, it's actually sunny out, sunny and cloudy outside today here, and I forgot about a couple finishes I had, I think I said in my last, um, video that I had finished my January bird, and this is how I had finished it, and then I put it in my plate rack at, in my office, so this is my January bird, so I thought that was kind of fun with the berries, kind of the polka dot match, kind of, sort of. And then this is how I finished my February. I found this little frame and he actually just pops right in. 
that's in there and I put it in my uh, plate rack so I thought that looked I thought the color of the frame looked good and thrift store fine I just crazy about the thrift stores and this Mel Melanie also sent this along they are two pieces of um, beeswax that her husband made these um, and I said they were too cute to use but she said please use them try them out look at there's a bee on that isn't that cute anyway so that was really kind of her to send those gifts along very nice very nice so that is that and then when um, Terry and Marilee and I had gone out to lunch in January I think and uh, Terry and I hadn't seen each other for Christmas and we exchanged our Christmas gifts and this is what she made me this beautiful project bag uh, and you've got a velcro closure beautiful uh, it's got birds on it it's so pretty and then she also made this beautiful project roll that I've got my tapestry samplers rolled up in it so thank you Terry so so nice also got those now I'm going to go to thrift store haul so I will start with this one um, pretty sure it was 25 cents but it has berries on it thought that was cute obviously very old uh, <clears throat> I don't even see a date don't see a date oh, 1981 and it is a leisure arts but I like the berries I thought you could use them as a single motif here and there and I got this at a Goodwill for $1.99. It's a whole kit of Frederick, Frederick the Literate. So it's the whole kit with the Black Ada and the thread. So I had a couple others there that I actually left behind. But I like, I've always liked that one. Not a big cat person, but I like the bookshelf. Like the, there's that uh, book shelf one it's like a city I think it's a Russian uh, chart that I really I like that one so I picked that up and then this one cracked me up it is a Gloria Gloria and Pat design but look at that character <laughs> I just thought they were so funny so check those out it just made me laugh you know, for a quarter dime, whatever it was. And then this one is a cross stitch and needlework uh, magazine. And if I can quickly find it, the reason I picked it up was this sampler. It's called a darning sampler. Now I cannot find it. There it is. It's called a darning sampler. <clears throat> I thought that was kind of cool because I actually want to do the Nova sampler that um, Vanna and Heidi Cran are doing. I want to pick that up one of these days. And I thought this kind of looked like that, but it's called the Darning Sampler. So it's got all the um, instructions on how to do. <clears throat> well, I don't know if it's really instructions, it's just kind of black work. But uh, I thought that was interesting. So I actually had left it behind and then went back and got it. <coughs> so anyway. And this one I got. It was a Janlin design. Maybe I did pay the $3.99 for it. And I didn't really care for the design. Um, it, yeah, not at all. So if anybody wants this design, I'm keeping the fabric. Um, but I will send you the pattern, the picture, and the threads. Let me know if more than one person uh, asks for it. Uh, I'll do a drawing or something, but I, I won't be uh, stitching it. But I did, I'm keeping the fabric because I thought, uh, you know, this fabric is nice and long and narrow, and there's a couple patterns that I want to do. So. I bought it for the fabric, but I have no interest in the pattern. So, 
Comment below if you want it. At some point, I don't know when, I will give it to you. Or do a drawing for it. So look at all the threads. Lots of, lots of goody threads. And they have the BMC numbers. Ooh, nice. So anyway, let me know. And I've got the, the find of all finds there. Um, I got this at Goodwill for 99 cents. And I know this uh, thread is supposed to be absolute crap. I won't be using that. But I always thought this was cute. And um, I think Stitching by Candlelight, I think. Uh, stitched this and said there was errors in the in the pattern, but I just I've always kind of thought this was cute You know, it's not much, but I thought you know for 99 cents. I'll take it And then this was also a goodwill for 99 cents. I thought it was super cute. Look at that little Stitch up little birdie and kitty. So my friend who likes kitties her Birthdays way at the end of summer. So maybe I can Get it done by then <coughs> So I um, hadn't seen Kitten Stitcher's uh, video where she did the tutorial in the box yet, but I she had shown her boxes in her videos. And when I went, a thr two friends went thrifting last weekend with me, and I saw a box, and I didn't get it and it just kept gnawing at me so I went back after work one day this week and I wanted to get it so I did pick up this box or not box it's a drawer and at first I thought the little Lizzie Kate strings I have a little collection of those would be good to go in here but they're so narrow the width would be perfect but they're so tiny so I think this is too big for that but after watching her video that's when I decided I need to go back and get this drawer because it was really cute the way she finished it so I you know this definitely needs some TLC but um, I thought it would would uh, I don't know how old it is this looks looks old but anyway so when I got that there was um, these two cutting boards that I thought would be cute to mount something on right here, you know, obviously sand it and, you know, fix it up a bit. And yellow tag day, it was yellow tag half off day. So I got these two for $3. I was thrilled about that. And then I also got, I tried to buy this at Christmas, a little after Christmas at Joanne's. I couldn't find it. I want to copy Vanna's uh, jar she had in her kitchen, but this stuff, and he sold it to me for 50 cents. What was it? Oh, CVS. Maybe I'll have to go to CVS and buy it. This is where this came from. So, anyway, actually, it's a, oh, got a little hole in it. And then I don't think this is a real dough bowl, but got this again half off so I thought I could sand it and make it into a dough bowl so I thought that was a great find for a dollar fifty just needs a little TLC and then I also found this and I don't know if this is anything of value or made by machine but um, this caught my eye. I've been seeing these boxes and baskets, so I picked it up. It does have this is painted on it, um, and the lid is quite heavy, and the lid does have that little uh, signature on it, PS slash CC, so I don't know if, I'm guessing this is handmade. It's very nice, so it doesn't have anything on the bottom. It's not half off. I paid three dollars for it, but um, I'm actually going to uh, store my, you know, scissors and stitching stuff in this. So I thought that was a great deal. And then while I was out uh, thrifting last weekend, I found this, and this I thought was um, seem um, definitely handmade. Um, I did spend twenty dollars on it. But uh, it's signed, and it's from 1997. So if anybody has any information about these, I would love to know if 
I got a deal. I've got, you know, a $400 pair of shoes here, like my uh, thrift store find a while ago. But uh, I just thought it was really cute, even if it's worth $5 and I spent 20 I, I really like it. It's very cute and it's sturdy and just gathering all my things. I keep banging it and it's, uh, it's holding up. So anyway, so that was a great find. So quite a while ago, I ran across um, this at a thrift store and oh my gosh, I was like, oh, very excited. So I got these for 50 cents each and this one I have, I'm going to share with a friend, but, um, and some of them I might not do, but uh, I was amazed. Was just, they were just piled there and I took them all, a bunch of lavender and lace and told in the garden. So, <clears throat> let me show them all to you. So I thought it would be fun. I won't do it, but I thought it would be really cool to, like, for Stitch Mania, get them all started. But that would very unlikely to happen. So if you have any questions about what their names are, maybe I'll start saying them. This is Lady of the Thread. I like that one. White Lace. Ivy Wed. Again, they were all 50 cents. I need to share this one also because I have this one already. It's Violets, Pansies, and Roses. And I'm just thrilled to get this one. The Spirit of Christmas. I want that one. This one I'm sure is beautiful. Angel of Christmas, beautiful stitched up. <clears throat> Guardian Angel. And this one I was thrilled to get, Olivia. Ooh, Angelica, because I've seen her finish by Olivia B. Absolutely gorgeous. And this looks like it would be equally as gorgeous, Angel of the Morning. And then this is my first uh, Celtic. I call them Celtic what? Celtic ladies? <laughs> This is a Celtic Christmas, so I was thrilled to get that. I think those are gorgeous. Here's another Told in the Garden, Baby Garden, it says it's called. And this one, you can't see anything, Family Treasure 3. So that was a fantastic find. I was thrilled. So nine bucks, nine dollars for 18. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's thrift store stuff is exciting. So I told you yesterday we went to our LNS and met up with uh, Caroline and Jen and Olivia and Terry. I think that was it. So we met over there to meet and see Caroline and uh, not all of uh, the needle in the haystacks market things were out, but I did. This is the one thing I bought is this little Blackbird design uh, deck the halls. I've got some cute things. I'd seen um, Fiber Talks video where they interviewed them and they had shown how they, um, and I guess they've done it before, uh, photocopied their stitching and put, you know, used it in on something and then made strawberries out of their actual stitched item. And Terry and I had seen uh, someone did that in um, Minnesota too. And you couldn't even tell they had it photocopied and up in a frame and it looked like a frame piece of stitching. And then she had made something else out of her actual stitching. So anyway, so I thought this was very cute. It's, you know, obviously all Christmas. Oh, here, let me just thumb through it. There's just a five or six of them, so that's one, and this one, Christmas Visitor, a big old pelican it looks like, it's probably not a pelican, mm, excuse me, and Christmas Cactus, I think, I mean, now that I've finished that one, uh, my Saturday morning stitch, I'm going to do that one, that's going to be my 
Saturday morning stitching. However, next Saturday morning I will be in Indiana. Oh, and this is what happens. Is this the same one? Nope. From me to the looks similar. The first day of Christmas. Oh, I love that one. So I actually might um, get a list of the threads. Maybe I think they did everything on Wren. Oh no, that's another one. These are done on different fabrics, but anyway, I do think they're really cute. They're awfully tiny though. <laughs> Mine are going to be bigger. <laughs> so that's it. So they have instructions on how to do some of the, the strawberry, obviously, and then some of the other finishing too. So anyway, that was my little pickup yesterday at my LNS. I uh, have enjoyed seeing all of the new things from market, but I have so much stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I just am trying to be content. However, thrift store shopping, it'll keep coming from there because that's just fun to go on the hunt. So I think that's it. I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, happy Thanks Patty's Day. And uh, I will catch up with you in the future after our retreat. Probably have a few pictures from that. So otherwise, happy stitching. Thanks. Bye.